Today, we'll be diving deep into the world of Paracetam, a remarkable cognitive enhancer that has been making waves in the nootropic community. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a wild ride through the realm of Paracetam. Paracetam, often hailed as the pioneer of nootropics, is a captivating compound known for its cognitive benefits. Originally developed in Belgium, Paracetam has gained popularity for its ability to enhance memory, improve learning capacity, and boost overall cognitive function. While it may not be as widely recognized or approved in some countries, it has been extensively studied and utilized in various parts of the world, particularly in Europe. In this episode, we'll delve into the history of Paracetam its mode of action, potential benefits, and address some frequently asked questions. So, prepare yourself for an intellectual adventure as we unravel the mysteries of Paracetam. Paracetam's rise to fame and its connection to cognitive enhancement. If you're a fan of nootropics, you've probably heard about Paracetam and its remarkable reputation in the world of cognitive enhancement. But what exactly catapulted Paracetam into the spotlight? Let's explore its intriguing journey and its association with boosting brain power. Paracetam's rise to prominence can be attributed to its captivating effects on cognition. Users have reported enhanced memory, improved focus, heightened mental clarity, and increased creativity after supplementing with Paracetam. These cognitive benefits have made Paracetam a popular choice among students, professionals, and anyone seeking to unlock their mental potential. Although Paracetam's exact mechanics of actions are still being researched, it is believed to enhance cognitive function by modulating neuronal pathways and improving the communication between brain cells. It is thought to influence the release of neurotransmitters such as acetylcholine, which play a vital role in learning and memory processes. Paracetam's ability to enhance cognitive function has sparked curiosity and debate, leading to a surge in interest from those looking to optimize their mental abilities. However, it's important to note that Paracetam is not a magic pill, and individual results may vary. Let's dive deeper into the history of Paracetam's development and its scientific underpinnings to gain a better understanding of its potential. The Origins of Paracetam and Its Scientific Roots To truly appreciate the impact of Paracetam, we must delve into its origins and the scientific minds behind its creation. Developed in the 1960s by a Romanian psychologist and chemist named Corneliu Giragia, Paracetam was the first compound to be classified as a nootropic. Giragia, fascinated by the concept of cognitive enhancement, set out to create a substance that could boost brain power without causing harmful side effects. He coined the term nootropic to describe compounds that enhance cognitive function while being safe and non-toxic. Paracetam was the fruit of Giragia's labor a compound designed to improve memory, learning, and overall cognitive performance. Its development was based on the idea that the brain's functioning could be enhanced by targeting specific neurotransmitter systems. What sets Paracetam apart from other substances is its unique chemical structure. It belongs to the Racetam family, a group of compounds characterized by a pyrrolidone nucleus. This structure is believed to be key to Paracetam's ability to interact with the brain and influence cognitive processes. Since its creation, Paracetam has undergone extensive research and clinical trials, further solidifying its reputation as a powerful cognitive enhancer. Scientific Research Behind Paracetam and Its Potential Benefits Paracetam has been extensively studied and approved in over 100 countries. It has shown promise in treating age-related disorders. In a study of 130 dementia patients, they were treated with Paracetam for three months. The results showed significant improvement in three out of four indicators compared to the placebo group. Another study involving 81 patients with Alzheimer's type dementia found that Paracetam led to increased scores in psychometric tests, particularly in behavioral tests related to self-reliance and communication. Large studies on elderly patients with neuropsychiatric symptoms have shown that Paracetam not only improves cognition, but also reduces accompanying symptoms like depression. In studies on patients with cerebrovascular insufficiency, 
Paracetam significantly improved their condition and reduced symptoms such as vertigo, fatigue, and sleep disturbances. Similar positive results were observed in studies involving a large number of patients with memory impairments. Paracetam has also been effective in treating alcohol withdrawal symptoms, leading to improvements in tremors, anxiety, and other related symptoms. Overall, Paracetam has shown effectiveness and good tolerability in various studies, making it a promising option for treating different conditions. Now that we've learned that Paracetam is backed by extensive studies, let's dive into potential benefits of Paracetam reported by users and supported by scientific studies. Over the years, numerous studies have been conducted to uncover the potential benefits of Paracetam and shed light on its mechanisms of action. While the exact mode of action is not yet fully understood, several theories have emerged based on research findings. Number 1. Neurotransmitter Modulation Paracetam is believed to affect neurotransmitter systems in the brain, including the cholinergic and glutamatergic systems. It is thought to enhance the release and activity of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter associated with learning and memory processes. Additionally, paracetam may influence glutamate receptors, which are involved in synaptic plasticity and cognitive function. Number 2. Increased Oxygen and Glucose Utilization Paracetam is thought to enhance cerebral blood flow and metabolism. It may improve oxygen and glucose utilization in the brain, leading to increased energy production and improved cognitive function. Number 3. Neuroprotection Paracetam has been found to possess neuroprotective properties, potentially shielding the brain from damage caused by various factors, including oxidative stress and neurotoxicity. It's important to note that while there is scientific research supporting some of these potential benefits, individual experiences and results may vary. It is always advisable to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement or medication. So, let's discover Paracetam formulations and dosages. Whether in tablet, capsule, or powdered form, Paracetam offers users the flexibility to choose the administration method that suits them best. Understanding the various dosages and recommended guidelines ensures safe and effective use of this nootropic agent. Number 1. The common Paracetam formulations include Tablets or Capsules Paracetam is commonly found in tablet or capsule form. These formulations provide pre-measured doses, making it convenient for accurate dosing. Powder Paracetam is also available in powdered form, allowing for more flexibility in dosing. The powder can be mixed with water or other beverages for consumption. Number 2. The common Paracetam dosages include Standard Dosage the standard recommended dosage of paracetam for adults is typically in the range of 1.2 to 4.8 grams per day, divided into two or three equal doses. This range is commonly used for cognitive enhancement and general nootropic benefits. If you're new to paracetam, it's recommended to start with a lower dosage and gradually increase it to assess your tolerance and individual response. A common starting dosage is around 1.2 grams per day, divided into two doses. Higher Dosages In certain cases, higher dosages of paracetam may be recommended. For example, in clinical settings, doses of up to 9.6 grams per day have been used for certain conditions. However, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional before considering higher dosages. Dosages can vary based on factors such as individual needs, body weight, and tolerance. It's important to follow the recommended guidelines and consult with a healthcare professional for personalized dosage recommendations. Number 3. Administration Timing Paracetam can be taken with or without food. It's generally recommended to take the supplement at regular intervals throughout the day to maintain consistent blood levels. Duration The duration of paracetam use can vary depending on the individual needs and goals. Some users may choose to take it on an as-needed basis, while others may opt for long-term daily supplementation. It's best to follow the guidance of a healthcare professional and assess your response over time. Remember, individual responses to paracetam may vary, and it's important to find the dosage and administration method that works best for you. 
Always consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice and to ensure it aligns with your specific health circumstances. Now you've learned a lot about Paracetam, we'd also like to invite you to discover other Racetams. Currently, there are more than 10 Paracetam-like drugs, including Paracetam itself, which are already used in different countries or are at some stage of clinical trials. Not all of them are FDA-approved memory supplements, though. It is important to say that the compounds of the Racetam family have a chemical structure similar to Paracetam, whose main component is a pyrrolidone ring. Despite the structural similarity, clinical effects observed in the use of racetams are quite diverse and allow to divide them into three subgroups. Number 1. Drugs primarily used to treat cognitive disorders. This subgroup includes paracetam, premaracetam, phenylparacetam, oxiracetam, and aniracetam. The last two substances are no longer used in official clinical practice. Number 2. Drugs for the treatment of epilepsy. This subgroup includes levetiracetam, brivaracetam, and selatracetam. The effect of these drugs on cognitive function has not been established yet. Number 3. The third subgroup includes compounds whose clinical efficacy is unknown. For example, nifiracetam, efficacy in improving cognitive function is not proven, and rolopram, currently under study as an antidepressant. This subgroup includes a number of other drugs that are in clinical trials. The most popular in the racetam group except paracetam itself would probably be phenylparacetam. Phenylparacetam is a drug similar to paracetam. It has high bioavailability and has been extensively tested on animals and over 500 volunteer patients. Studies have shown that phenylparacetam has stronger effects compared to paracetam, including improved behavior, reduction of diazepam's depressive effects, inhibition of eye movement disorder, and prevention of retrograde amnesia. It also has anticonvulsant properties and can improve cognitive function when combined with anticonvulsants. Phenylparacetam is used to treat conditions such as headache, fatigue, cognitive impairment, depression after traumatic brain injury, cerebrovascular disorders, and chronic fatigue syndrome. It is also known to enhance physical and mental performance and stimulate cognitive functions. Premaracetam. Premaracetam is another member of the racetam family. It has higher potency compared to paracetam, requiring a lower dose. It has a delayed onset of effects, usually taking five to six weeks of treatment to notice improvements. Studies have shown that paracetam can reduce amnestic effects and improve cognitive parameters in healthy volunteers. It also shows moderate improvements in visual and verbal memory in patients with cerebrovascular disease and concussion. Oxiracetam Oxiracetam has high bioavailability due to its chemical structure. It has been found to alleviate impairments in neuropsychiatric activity caused by scopolamine and can improve cognitive impairments in older individuals. However, it does not benefit patients with Alzheimer's disease. Aniracetam Aniracetam has low bioavailability and is rapidly excreted from the body. It has shown effectiveness in elderly patients with cerebrovascular diseases, but not in those with memory and cognitive impairments from organic solvents. Paracetam Combination Compounds Combination drugs containing paracetam have become popular, combining nootropic and vasotropic components in one formulation. These combinations are typically used when symptoms related to vascular issues are present such as pulsation in the head, dizziness, and vascular headaches. Examples of these combinations include vinpotropil, vinpocetine plus paracetam, and Omron, paracetam, and cinarazine. Vinpotropil improves cerebral blood flow and has a nootropic effect, while Omron stimulates blood flow, enhances brain metabolism, and has vasodilating effects. These combination drugs can be used at different dosages depending on individual needs. As with any nootropic, paracetam has raised some questions and concerns among users. Let's answer some frequently asked questions. Number 1. Where to buy paracetam? With the racetam shortage, it has become hard to find paracetam online. Cosmic Nootropic is one reliable racetam vendor where you can buy paracetam original and source other popular nootropics. 
Paracetam at Cosmic Nootropic is available under the brand name Nootropil. It is produced by UCP, which is a global biopharmaceutical leader with headquarters in Brussels, Belgium. It specializes in the field of central nervous system disorders, allergy and respiratory diseases, immune and inflammatory disorders, as well as oncology. Number two, is Paracetam safe? Paracetam is generally considered safe and well-tolerated. It has a low incidence of side effects, which are typically mild and transient. However, as with any substance, individual reactions may vary. It's essential to follow recommended dosages and consult with a healthcare professional if you have any underlying health conditions or are taking other medications. Number three, what is the recommended dosage? The standard paracetam dosage is 800 milligrams three times a day, which is 2.4 grams in total. For cognition-related issues, it can be increased up to 4.8 grams daily. The exact dosing of paracetam depends on the person's condition and the desired effects. It is not recommended to take paracetam at night because of a possible stimulating effect. Doctors advise taking one dose in the morning, another in the afternoon, and the last one after lunch before 5 p.m. Number 4. How long does it take to experience the effects? One pack of paracetam contains 30 pills, each with 800 milligrams of the active ingredient. It is sufficient for an average of 10 days of supplementation. If paracetam is used as a mild cognitive enhancer, it shall be normally taken as a course from 4 to 6 weeks. In certain cases, it can be taken as long as 3 to 4 months. The main effects usually begin to manifest after 3 to 4 weeks of supplementation. Number 5. Are there any side effects? Paracetam is a safe, low toxic nootropic drug. Almost all studies report high tolerability to the compound. Still, there can be some side effects to it. They may include such adverse reactions as sleep disturbances, dyspeptic disorders, agitation, as well as sexual stimulation and increased motor activity. That is why it is not recommended to take paracetam in the evening before bedtime. In addition, it is advised against driving vehicles and operating machinery while on paracetam because of the above-mentioned possible adverse reactions. Headache is another adverse reaction that may occur while taking paracetam. It can be explained by choline deficiency intrinsic in our bodies. If this is the case, it is advised to add acetylcholine to the stack. Consult your doctor before taking paracetam if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, have renal impairment, or any other medical conditions. Number 6. Can paracetam be combined with other supplements or medications? It's crucial to exercise caution when combining paracetam with other supplements or medications. Always consult with a healthcare professional to ensure there are no potential interactions or contraindications. They can provide guidance based on your specific health situation and medication regimen. Remember that while paracetam has shown promising potential, individual experiences and results may vary. It's important to approach nootropics with realistic expectations and to prioritize overall brain health through a balanced lifestyle, including regular exercise, proper nutrition, quality sleep, and mental stimulation. In conclusion, Paracetam has garnered significant attention as a nootropic supplement due to its potential cognitive benefits. With its long history of use and extensive research, Paracetam has shown promise in enhancing memory, learning, and focus. While further studies are needed to fully understand its mechanisms of action, many individuals have reported positive effects when using paracetam. As with any supplement, especially for individuals with underlying medical conditions or those taking other medications, adhering to recommended dosages and guidelines ensures safe and responsible use. Paracetam continues to be a subject of interest for those seeking cognitive enhancement and ongoing research may provide further insights into its potential benefits and applications. And that's it for our Cosmic Nootropic review of Paracetam. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more in-depth reviews on nootropics and other cognitive enhancers. Until next time, stay sharp and focused.